Thank you for joining me today. Um, today we're looking at that little fellow, which is called the Wanko from Focus EC. Um, as in Wanko. Um, the reason it's on there and not in the box is because, um, <laughs> yeah, I've had another kick up with the recording. I recorded the video with a, one of my builds on and then swapped over and put this dot coil in and then found out that I've got no, I've got, the, the sound was screwed up basically. So I think I've got it sorted out now, hopefully. So what I'm going to do, in here I've got one of the standard coils that comes with it. Oops, sorry. Um, one of the standard coils that comes with it. Um, I'll show you how this lights. We'll go down the desk. I'll take this out. I'll put one of my own builds on it. Wick that, juice it. Show you how that lights. Then we'll have a talk about it and then give you my final thoughts. But for the price, this is a cracking little ripper. I'll tell you all about the price in a second. Um, it, it did come from Gearbest, but ignore that. There's a, there'll be a clickable link in the description. And that's 1.45. 1.45 ohms. And I'll just get this so you can see it. One point four five ohms. <coughs> so it's thirty five thirty five watts. And that is come on anyhow, we don't have even seven point one two volts. Yeah, it does that, and the flavour is immense. Um, I've got some juice cabin uh, Pandora in here, as I do with new drippers and stuff, because I know what it should taste like, and it's the flavour is bang on. I'm gonna change the drip bit a second because I'm gonna go up to forty watts. Seven point something like that. Can't quite see. Seven point six two. So I can pull it. So forty watts. Can't complain at that. A one point four six ohm coil. So that's how she rates. I'll show you all the little pieces. We'll go down, I'll go down the desk and I'll show you the box and stuff. And then we'll um, talk some more. So I'll see you on the desk. Now, here we are, folks. Um, ooh, the light is a bit shit. Yeah. Um, Maybe, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Um, soon see what happens anyway. Let's uh, see what, let's lose that. Let's get that up there. Bear with me, folks. Just uh, sorting this crap out. Um, so, yeah, obviously, that little RDA sits in there and then as you can see we've got three coils here come on focus get in right we've got a one ohm cancel coil 0 0.6 stainless steel coil and 0 0.35 collecting coil so what i 
are going to do. I'll just really quickly run the box because it will be important. On the packaging, we have just says Wanko there. Focus easy. Chronic. Chronic focus. Come on. Right. Wanko. Focus easy. Wanko. Focus easy. And on the back. It's got postless, screwless, wave coil, simple, easy and fast, compatible with classical screw coil fixing system, which I'll show in a second. Single coil build, only room for a single coil. Available with notch coil, alien coil, blah blah blah. Adjustable airflow, power and drip dip, stainless steel and thick. And as you can see this one's in black. This can be stainless steel and black. So let's lose that for a second. Uh, also in the box, we get instruction booklet, which is you know pretty good. Don't do bad at all. Um, it shows you the wave coils there. Three point two internal diameter on the cancel of stainless steel, and two point five on the clap. And the classical screw coil fixing system is, as you can see, just a couple of screws on the deck. Um, and there's a few specs 20 mil high, 22 mil diameter, paint mil drip tip. It's not, you know, I mean, you get a little bag of cotton in there. For the price, and I'm probably going to surprise you. There again, those of you who know me, I'm probably not going to surprise you. Um, <laughs> this. At the moment is on gear best. Let me just double check my my chatting. It's on gear best website at the moment as we speak, as at the third of September at eleven pounds thirty eight for the stainless steel, eleven ninety one for that one. The coils you can get the spare clamps, which are these. Let me just take this to the desk. One second, I'll just. Pull this cotton out of here. Right, there's your standard supplied wave coil, and yes, you can. When you fit them, you just strum it. Let me show you. Let me show you. Hold on a minute. It's like fitting a fuse in a plug. Take that out of there. Got that somewhere safe. Is it still a little bit warm? Let's take this one out of here. This one out of here, and then you've got that there, and you there's your deck, obviously. Oh, shit, Sherlock. <laughs> See if I can get this a little bit brighter for you. A little bit brighter. So there's your deck, and not sure whether you can see. Let me just put my eyes on and see what I'm looking at. Bit of cloth or tissue, for that matter. Um, as I said, but. Bear with me a second. Just mop up this juice. Just like keep pouring it over myself or over the desk. Um, yeah, the, you can see the positive post. I'll show you this. if you can see it. Which you can probably see if you can or not. Let's have a look. 
it's obvious which is which when you get it in your head. Um, So I'm thinking, yes, that is the positive post. Because there, down there, is the big insulator. So, and as you can see, that is not part of the deck. That bit is milled into the deck or out of the deck, from the deck, whatever what you will. Um, so. I made a quick coil, just got a simple cancel coil, nine wraps of 22 gauge, or a three and a half mil post, and then to stick your own build on, all you simply do, when I say simply, <laughs> when your thumbs don't work, like mine don't, more often than not, and I've taken all precautions, I've had my painkillers, I've put my gel on and all sorts of stuff to do this. Um, so, you drop those clamps, as they call them, off. You get some focus on the camera, hopefully. Be useful. And then, just... I sometimes wonder why I do this when I've got thumbs that don't want to play. And for all you normal people who've got normal fingers and thumbs, it's a breeze. Um, so, you have your coil, like so, which is going to fit in there, like so. And we want to simply run a wire under that screw there bugger. you bugger it's wire against me my down here run a wire underneath that screw and then bugger. All right. Let's try it again. Doesn't help the fact that that's really so bad. Right. Come on, Foggy. Let it grip. In there, employers, employers. Obviously, that coil got to sit in the middle of that bit. So we want to have that as tight as we can get it. That's just about one in. And then the same foot to the other side. Look at that. Oh dear. Okay. 
Have another go, shall we? Good idea for Fudley. I'm probably not the best person to watch doing this because I have no grip on my thumbs at all today again. It's not as hard as it may appear. You just got to stick a twist on it and then stick it under the coil. If, if you've ever whipped, sorry, if you've ever coiled the deck that's got just, just terminal screws and not post holes, this is exactly the same principle. Put the wire underneath the screw, screw it out. Job done. Maybe I should have bent these wires before I started. <clears throat> Might be a good idea, wouldn't it? Well, I thought doing the coil would be sufficient. But hey, live and learn. So, let's get this. This one on here. What a young bugger. Young bugger. I'm talking my tongue out. <laughs> and when I'm concentrating, my tongue's out. Let's try this screwdriver. Don't keep unscrewing the damn shit. Right. I think we're almost there. On this, hold the damn thing. Pull on that. Screw that down. So that's the coil. Almost fitted. Just tighten that down. Get me clippers, me little clippers. I will snip that one off. Maybe. Okay. Snap it off then. We'll clip that one off. Like so. Yep. Now we'll have a tidy up with the coil. Get it in the middle. Get it in the middle. Because the air comes in from these posts, I want to get it into between those 
the holes like so. So in the middle of those two screw terminals on that plate there. Now what I've got to do is just make sure it's not touching the deck. So just lift it up a little bit. That should do us, I think. I'm going to read it now. Point four seven. It says not point four seven. <clears throat> so that looks all right to me. We'll just give it a, a bed in and just drop these. Clamps in the box, I don't lose them. That's good enough for me. What do you say, folks? Point four seven. That looks pretty damn good to me. So I'll just get some cotton. I'm just going to use a bit of this uh, Native Wicks Premium Blend, which I got from somewhere. <laughs> Oh dear. Right. Now, again, I'm not the best builder on the planet, but the way I've been doing this, um, you probably get, <coughs> you would actually get a four mil in there, four mil bit. Um, <coughs> but this is a, so on a, a 3.5, so it's a reasonable sort of toy. So it can get a, a reasonable chunk of cotton, but the reason I use this kind of stuff for this and a couple of other builds is because this is slightly more teasable. You can actually tease this more into how you want it. So let's put a bit of a bit of cotton in here. Not too tight. Don't want it too tight in there. <clears throat> the deck is actually three mil deep, or three mil shallow, if you like. So I'll chop that end off, and then what I do is I split the car and get a couple of tails on each end. And then just place those tails in those holes there. Keep it away from those air holes. I want to get uh, in the air holes. I'll show you when I finish. Um, no, I'm just obviously I'm just doing this quick. You'd probably take more time. I'd take more time ordinarily, but. Just to show you, it can be possible to put your own build on, should you not want to use those little wave coil jobs. But they work perfectly well. So for someone who's new to building, it's probably brilliant. Um, you know, there's no great faffing around to do. You've just got to 
you can fit a fuse and a plug, you can put a coil on the dripper. Um, just two those two apart. Got one down there, got one in there. Something like that. Um, obviously got more cotton in one side than the other, but hey, just for the purpose of demonstration, this will suffice. Hopefully. Um, so, let me just get some focus going on here. There's your air intakes there, your air slots, call them what you will. Just there, and just there. So obviously make sure you've got no cotton poking in the hole or sticking by the hole. Otherwise, you're going to be leaking. But I've, to, be, to be perfectly honest, I've had this about two, three weeks now, maybe. And I've not had touch, well, I've not had a leaking issue. Because if you think about it, the air goes in there. If you do over drip, it's going to go down there, probably. <clears throat> or even if it goes through the air holes. Once that airflow is on, that top ring is on, it's sealed up. There's an O-ring at the bottom, so it's not going to go to it. Actually, the only time you might get a leak is when you've, if you've over-dripped it and it's collected around the inside of the top gap and then when you take the top gap off, it might piss out of the dripper then. But like I say, I've had no problem with it, with it leaking. So I'll put a bit of juice on. I'm using my trusty... Pandora from JuiceCabin.com um, just because I've had it more or less since I started vaping I know what it vapes like, what it, what it tastes like what it should taste like So, and I've got to say for the money this little thing produces a you know, a, a bloody good vape it's, it's a good vape it's, the flavour is excellent um, Probably do it, I think. Put a little bit down in there. There you go. <clears throat> so that's whipped, juiced, ready to rock and roll. Drop that on there. Airflow is Can you see the airflow? Do you not see the airflow? Can't see the airflow, can you? Right. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, have a quick. Airflow is there. So that's fully open on both sides. So, Right, so we'll go back up to the main camp and uh, have a vape. I'll well, give you my final thoughts. So, there's the Wanko with a. <coughs> excuse me. With a, a build on, simple build, simple capital build. But I'm sure you could put on there whatever you wanted to put on there. Um, 0 0.57 it says now, 30 watts. end of the day <coughs> for 12 pounds and if you bought if you bought this from gearbest and you paid let's say you had the black one which is 1191 
and the stainless steel weighs 11.38. So the the clamps are a pound for a box of 10. The 0.35 Clapton's are two pound 20 for a box of 10. The stainless steel 0.6 ohm are 188 for a box of 10. And the cancel are also 188, one ohm for a box of 10. 2467, less than 20 quid. Less than 20 quid, you've got a nice little dripper that performs, that gives good flavour, obviously, because it's only that far from your mouth. Um, it produces some reasonable clouds. You know, you're not going to win any cloud competition with it, but it produces some reasonable clouds. And I'm pretty sure if I turn this right the way down, turn the airflow right the way down, drop that down to about 20 watts. 21. Yeah. Now to lamp. Well, you get a mouth to lung, or you can get a full lung hit on it. Um, you know, it, it is what it is. It's a, a little RDA that does what it says. You put either a stop coil in it or one of your own. You put some wick in it. And you press the button. It produces vapor. And pretty good vapor at that. Um, you know, what else is a tripper supposed to do? Yeah, it's not. Yes, it's got a crazy name, as far as we're concerned. It might mean something fantastic in Chinese. Um, but yeah, I'm sure there's been a few tidbits knocking about, but there are more ridiculous things than this. There are some crazy names out there, to be honest. There's some crazy names out there. There's so many different. The reason I bought this is because it's different, not just because it's called a Wanko, um, but just because it's different. And yeah, I bought it because it's called a Wanko, partly because maybe a lot of people are not going to buy it because it's called a Wanko. Um, I, I've not seen any videos on YouTube for it, or I couldn't find any. It might have been perhaps one, um, not English ones anyway. <clears throat> um, so I thought you'd yeah, give it a go. It looks different, it's a different, different kind of setup. Um, and I've been pleased with it. So I've had it three weeks or so, and it, it keeps coming back on top of the mod. Um, with different builds in it, I've had stainless in it, I've had cancel in it. Um, I haven't put a clutch in yet, but <clears throat> that's probably in it. So, if you're looking for a reasonably priced stripper that does what it says, it's easy to build on, even though I made it look difficult only because of these bloody things. Um, if you've got normal dexterity and you can grip things and turn things and mess around with little tiny screws, it, it's a doll. Um, so, yeah, you can do a lot worse than this. Um, so, the links, clickable link to gear best to be in the description. Ignore that one. Um, and that's me done. So, as always, thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it hasn't been too long and laborious for you to sit through. Um, if you've liked the video, leave me a like, leave me a comment down there. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, I always welcome comments, positive or negative. Um, all feedback is good feedback as far as I'm concerned. Um, and if you want to see more of the weird and wonderful, um, I've got a load of shit there. I've got tanks, I've got dippers, I've got RTAs, RDAs, um, all kinds of stuff there. I haven't even touched the mods yet, um, regulated or mechanical mods. I've, I've got lots to do. So if you want to see more from me, subscribe either down there, down there, or up there, or wherever it, wherever it is. Um, so yeah, and to my current subscribers, thank you very much. I do appreciate 
all of your subscriptions. Um, so have yourselves a good day. I'm going to just switch over a second. Have yourselves a good day. More importantly, have yourselves a damn good night. And I'll see you guys in the next one.